Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to do split screen view in Sony Vegas Pro 10. I don't think the version would matter, but it's still good to know. So I'm just going to grab a picture of a dog and a picture of a cat. And I'll just show you that using the pictures because it will work the same for a video, just videos moving. Sure, it will take full size. To save this to the desktop, cat. Hmm, let's get this cat. Okay, so I'm assuming you've watched other videos on YouTube or on rewind that shows how to do render settings and stuff for YouTube so I won't go over that I'll just import these whatever because you should know the basics basics hopefully so let's just put them both in so there we have them both just zoom in okay so we have both videos. You can only see one if we were just solo. Solo there. You can see them both there. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to go events, pans, and crops. You're just going to drag it. If you want to have it so that there's boxes so that it can go over this black edge, you're just going to hit properties and uncheck maintain aspect ratio so now we can move it up here zoom out just you have to be careful when you uncheck that because then your photo can get really messed up a little bigger okay that looks about good. Now, we'll move this big old scary cat. First, we'll uncheck that. <laughs> now, this cat's even weirder. Okay. So, let's just fix that a little. And there we go. You have a basic split screen view there. You might want to add some background or something along those lines in the background. Like, let's just add this. <laughs> Whatever. So you can add like a background like that. Whatever you want to do will work. Or you can, in some cases, you ha you could have the corners overlapping. So the videos would overlap sometimes. Like so. Let's make it just bigger. And it could overlap like that or something along those lines. But really it's up to you. You know how to do it now. You can do it. And if you were wanted to add a watermark, just to add something quick to this. And you just want to make it smaller. Because you don't want to watermark over the whole thing usually. Maybe just place that in the corner, I guess. Let's just delete this. Put that as normal. Put that back on. So now we have the cat. Oh, sorry. Let's fix this. Do, do, do. We just have different keyframes, that's why it's moving around. <laughs> so, we're just going to want to get rid of those other keyframes. So, yeah, you're going to want to make sure that you're at the beginning of the clip when you're editing this. And for the watermark, you're going to want the watermark over all your stuff, which I think I just deleted. You're going to want to. <laughs> over all your stuff and then you can just lower the opacity right here 
Okay. So that looks good. It's right in the corner. And it's kind of faint. Depending on how... You could want full, but normally it's a watermark, so... It's a little lighter like that. So, that sums up this tutorial. It's 5 minutes long. 5 minutes 30 seconds, I guess. And... I hope it was, wasn't too long and boring. Um, make sure to subscribe if you want to stay tuned with more tutorials coming up by me and other users if you're watching this on Rewind. Thanks for watching.